Japan always had a powerful army, capable of standing up against some of the world's most formidable nations. But how far has the Japanese military come today? What are the most powerful vehicles in their arsenal that make enemies tremble on the battlefield? And can they still face the world's largest armies today? Well, in this video, we'll find out together, exploring the top 10 most powerful military vehicles of the Japanese Army. We'll consider only land vehicles, like tanks, personnel carriers, and others, while we'll leave warships and aircrafts for future contents. But before we start our exploration, don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. And now, let's dive deep into Japanese technology. Number 10. Type 19. The Type 19 is a modern, wheeled, self-propelled howitzer developed in Japan to replace the older towed FH-70. Designed in the 2010s, it features a 155mm L-52 howitzer mounted on an 888 Mayan HX truck chassis, allowing for enhanced mobility and range. This setup supports shoot-and-scoot operations, where the howitzer can quickly fire and then relocate to avoid counter-battery fire. Manufactured by Japan Steelworks, the Type 19 integrates advanced loading systems and has improved network capabilities compared to its predecessors. When deployed, the howitzer's crew operates in the open, and the vehicle uses hydraulic jacks to lower a large platform for stability. While the Type 19 carries some ammunition, additional supplies and crew are transported using separate tactical trucks. Number 9. M270 MLRS The M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System is a versatile and highly mobile rocket launcher used by the US, Japan, the United Kingdom, and Italy. This system can fire a range of surface-to-surface -surface rockets and missiles, including 12 Guided Multiple Launch Rocket System or Extended Range GMLRS rockets, as well as 4 Precision Strike Missiles or ATAC-EMS. Operated by a three-man crew, the M270 MLRS can launch its payload in under a minute. The system is being modernized under a recapitalization program managed by Lockheed Martin, which includes new engines, improved armored cabs, and upgraded fire control systems. These enhancements aim to extend the system's lifespan and enable it to fire the latest munitions, such as the Extended Range GMLRS and Precision Strike Missiles. The U.S. Army is upgrading its fleet of M270 Tuans and decommissioned units to the newer M270A2 configuration, ensuring that the MLRS remains a key asset in modern artillery operations. Number 8. Type 16 MCV The Type 16 Maneuver Combat Vehicle is a wheeled tank destroyer developed for the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force. Designed by Mitsubishi, this vehicle stands out due to its lightweight and compact size, making it highly mobile and easily deployable, even by aircraft if necessary. This mobility allows it to operate effectively in narrow roads and urban environments, where rapid response is crucial. Despite its smaller size and lighter armor compared to larger combat vehicles, the Type 16 MCV is equipped with a powerful gun that can engage both larger armored targets and personnel. It has been designed for efficient transport, able to be loaded onto Kawasaki C-2 transport aircraft or moved by maritime vessels to locations like the Okinawa Islands. The vehicle's main gun is manually loaded, which can be challenging for the crew, especially in hot conditions since it lacks air conditioning. Number 7. NBC Reconnaissance Vehicle The NBC Reconnaissance Vehicle is a specialized vehicle used by the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force for detecting and analyzing chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear contamination. 
Built by Komatsu, this vehicle is designed to operate in environments where NBC weapons have been used, ensuring the safety and effectiveness of reconnaissance operations. Introduced alongside the chemical reconnaissance vehicle in the late 1980s, the NBC reconnaissance vehicle features an airtight design with advanced air purification systems to protect its crew from contamination. It is equipped with sensors for detecting radiation and chemical substances, which are crucial for assessing contamination levels. A notable feature of the NBC reconnaissance vehicle is its manual manipulator arm, located at the rear. This arm allows the collection of contaminated soil samples without exposing the crew to external air. Number 6. Type 91 AVLB The Type 91 Armored Vehicle Launched Bridge is a specialized vehicle developed by Mitsubishi for the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force. Based on the chassis of the Type 74 main battle tank, the Type 91 replaces weapons with a folding metal bridge. Its primary role is to enable armored and infantry units to cross various obstacles such as craters, anti-tank ditches, destroyed bridges, and water bodies like canals and rivers. When vehicles encounter obstacles too wide or deep for them to cross, and there is no suitable or sturdy bridge available, the Type 91 deploys its metal bridge to facilitate safe passage. This capability is crucial for maintaining the mobility and effectiveness of military operations in diverse terrains and challenging conditions, ensuring that heavy equipment, including 60-ton tanks, can continue their advance without delay. Number 5. Type 96 APC the Type 96-wheeled armored personnel carrier is a versatile vehicle introduced into service with the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force in 1996. Built by Komatsu, it is designed to complement and eventually replace the older tracked Type 73 APCs. The Type 96 features a right-sided driver's position with a hatch and three periscopes, which can be swapped for a night vision device. Behind the driver, the commander, Chakch Gunner, operates a cupola that can be equipped with either a 40mm grenade launcher or a 50 caliber M2HB machine gun. It uses a double wishbone suspension system with torsion bars for its front and rear axles and offers both all-wheel drive and rear axle drive configurations. The passenger compartment can carry up to eight infantrymen who can exit through a rear hydraulic ramp or a manual door if needed. For casualty evacuation, the spacious interior accommodates stretchers. Number 4. AAV-7A1 Ram The Assault Amphibian Vehicle, 7A1, is a fully tracked amphibious assault vehicle used by the United States Marine Corps. Manufactured by U.S. Combat Systems, it was previously produced by United Defense, a division of FMC Corporation, commonly referred to by Marines as Amtraks. This vehicle is essential for landing troops and equipment during amphibious operations and conducting mechanized combat support once ashore. The AAV-7A1 is designed to transport Marines from assault shipping to inland objectives in a single lift. It plays a critical role in amphibious assaults and mechanized operations. The vehicle is capable of operating in both water and on land, making it versatile for various combat scenarios. In June 2018, the Marine Corps chose the BAE Systems Iveco Super AV for the Amphibious Combat Vehicle Program. Number 3. Type 92 MCV the Type 92 Minefield Clearance Vehicle, also known as the Mine Breaching Rocket System, is a specialized Japanese vehicle designed for clearing mines from large areas. Developed by Nissan Motors Aerospace Division before 2000 and later by IHI Aerospace and Hitachi, it uses advanced technology to tackle minefields efficiently. Equipped with two rockets, each carrying a string of 26 explosives, the vehicle clears mines over a substantial area. 
These rockets are deployed via parachute and detonate simultaneously, creating a significant blast that neutralizes mines. Each rocket has a range of about 2,720 feet and can clear a corridor of 984 feet by 16 feet. With both rockets, the vehicle can secure a corridor of up to 1,970 feet in length. Number 2. Type 87 SPAH The Type 87 self-propelled anti-aircraft gun, developed in Japan and often nicknamed the Gun Tank due to its resemblance to the Mecha from Mobile Suit Gundam, is a versatile air defense vehicle. Designed in 1987, it is built around the Orlikon 35mm twin cannon system, similar to the one used on the Gepard SPAG. The Type 87 utilizes a modified Type 74 tank chassis, replacing the initially planned Type 61 tank chassis after testing revealed better performance with the Type 74 design. Produced by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries with the cannon system provided by Japan Steelworks, the vehicle was first tested in 1982, with prototypes appearing in 1983. This self-propelled anti-aircraft gun is designed for high mobility and effective defense against aerial threats, combining advanced firepower with a robust chassis. Number 1. Type 90 The Type 90 is a main battle tank used by the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force, introduced in 1990 to replace the older Type 61 and bolster the Type 74 fleet. Designed and built by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, the Type 90 features a Rheinmetall L44 120 tamm smoothbore cannon, the same weapon used on the German Leopard 2, American Abrams, and South Korean K1A1 tanks. The Type 90 has undergone several upgrades over its service life. It boasts a sophisticated fire control system, including a yttrium aluminium garnet laser rangefinder with a range from 300 to 5,000 meters, a 32-bit ballistics computer, advanced thermal imaging, and automated tracking systems. And there you have it, folks. This was our countdown of the top 10 most powerful military vehicles of the Japanese Army for 2024. From the advanced Type 16 to the formidable Type 90, Japan's military arsenal is as impressive as it is diverse. Which one impressed you the most? Let us know in the comment below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more in-depth looks at military technology and defense systems from around the world. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay safe and always stay curious.